There are two types of shape layers in After Effects, parametric shapes and bezier shapes. Knowing how to animate shape layers unlocks a ton of creative possibilities. But in order to create shape-based animations like morphs, you need a solid understanding of the difference between parametric and bezier shapes. Parametric shapes are created with the shape tool. If you click and hold the shape tool, these are the different options of parametric shapes you can create. Select the type of shape you want, then click and drag in the composition viewer to create a shape. Holding down shift while you do this will create a perfect square or circle or a polygon or star that's not rotated. Parametric shapes have specific parameters, hence the name, that you can adjust or animate. Here's what to do if you're trying to create a parametric shape but you don't get the parametric properties. When the shape tool is selected, make sure that bezier path is not checked right here. If you have a shape with a stroke and want the shape to change size without affecting the stroke weight, you can animate the size property. This is different than animating the scale of the shape because when you animate the scale, the stroke scales with it. The roundness property makes it easy to add perfectly rounded corners to your rectangle, polygon, or star. You can even animate a morph between a perfect square and a perfect circle, or vice versa, by animating the roundness property. Polygons and stars also have unique parameters that can be useful to adjust or animate. Bezier shapes can be created with the pen tool, which works just like the pen tool in other programs. This type of shape can be anything that you can draw, so you can create more organic shapes this way. Bezier shapes don't have to be closed, which can be super useful depending on what you're trying to do. Alternatively, you could create a bezier path with one of the shape tools. With the shape tool selected, check Create Bezier Path. Now when you click and drag to create a shape, it will be created as a bezier shape. With bezier shapes, you don't have parametric properties to adjust or animate. Instead, you have a path property that can be animated. There are two ways to adjust your bezier shape. If you select Path 1, you can select and adjust individual vertex points. You can use the Convert Vertex tool to make pointed corners rounded or vice versa. The other way to adjust the path is to select the path next to the stopwatch icon. This will select all the vertex points so you can adjust the entire path at once. When you move the path like this, it won't change the position properties values. If you double click on the path, you'll get a transform box that you can use to resize the shape without affecting the scale properties values. The same goes for rotation. If you set keyframes and then make any of these adjustments, it will animate the path of your shape. This can be a super powerful way to create unique shape distortions and morphs. But if you're not careful, it can also get messy. If you just want to create a simple morph, you may be able to do this in a cleaner way by using a parametric shape and animating the parametric properties. Another option for bezier shapes is roto bezier. This makes it so that instead of having handles to adjust the curves on your path, After Effects will automatically calculate smooth curves for you. This could be nice if animating the handles manually is making a sloppy looking shape. There are two ways to get to this option. First, you can click on path one or whatever number and check roto bezier. Second, you can click on the path in the composition viewer, then go to mask and shape path and check roto bezier. If you want to switch back, you can. Just uncheck Roto Bezier. But be careful because switching Roto Bezier on or off will affect the shape of your path. You can't animate the path of a parametric shape, that is, unless you convert it to a Bezier shape. To do this, right click the shape path, so in this case, Rectangle Path 1. Then choose Convert to Bezier Path. Now you no longer have the parametric properties, but you have the path property that you can adjust and animate. This is a one-way street though. You can't convert a bezier shape into a parametric shape. Converting a parametric shape to a bezier path could be useful to create a line with perfectly rounded corners. You could create an ellipse or rectangle with rounded corners, then convert it to a bezier path. To open a closed shape, select two vertex points that are next to each other, then right-click Go to Mask and Shape Path and uncheck Closed. Now you can delete any points on the path that you don't want. Hopefully you now have a solid understanding of the difference between parametric and bezier shapes. 
If you feel like you missed out on the basics of shape layers or just want to learn more, check out the video I did on shape layers as part of my After Effects Fundamentals series. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy animating!